General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc., GAASI, recently advanced its aerial recovery system for small unmanned aircraft systems slash air launched effects, SUAS slash ALE, by deploying and retracting a towline with a smart end feature from a GASI MQ-20 Avenger unmanned aircraft system in flight. The demonstration took place on September 20, 2023, over Dugway Proving Ground, Utah. During this demonstration, a hoist from Breeze Eastern equipped with GASI's smart end feature was integrated into Avenger's payload bay. While in flight, the tow line was deployed away from Avenger to the optimal distance for aerial recovery. The smart end feature was able to wirelessly transmit its position back to Avenger, confirming its ability to transmit the data to a nearby SUAS slash ALE for aerial recovery. The smart end features, deployed, position correlated to GASI's multi-degree of freedom finite element catenary models, confirming its potential for SUAS slash ALE aerial recovery. Integrating air-launched UAS from Group 5 unmanned aircraft is possible, in part, thanks to advances in relative navigation technology, complex towline analysis, and multi-aircraft control being pioneered by GASI, said Mike Atwood, Vice President of Advanced Programs at GASI. We are excited to see this technology enable long-range kill chains from today's manned and unmanned systems supporting operations in highly contested environments. Beyond just captive carry back to base, the SUAS-ALE can be refueled, recharged, and or rearmed and then redeployed. Redeployment can occur from the host aircraft, enabling SUAS-ALEs to conduct their own orbits from airborne launch and recovery positions. Aerial redeployment allows UAS like GASI's Avenger or MQ-9A Reaper to serve as mobile command centers for a network of SUAS-ALEs in a persistent, expansive grid for surveillance, electronic attack, enemy air defense suppression, communication pathways, or joint all-domain mobile command and control for days or weeks at a time. Breeze Eastern's commercial off-the-shelf helicopter rescue hoists, with performance capabilities that meet or exceed system requirements, provide a high technology readiness level, TRL, and offer a low-risk solution to ensure SUAS-ALE aerial recovery. Throughout the hoist integration and flight testing, Breeze Eastern provided technical and logistical support. Ian Azarito, Breeze Eastern's chief engineer, commented, with this milestone demonstration, GASI has once again awed the aerospace industry. The professionalism and surgical ingenuity shown in the integration phase by the aerial recovery team all but guarantee future program success. The novel aerial recovery concept utilizes a towline and smart end feature, which serves as a beacon and mechanical interface for aerial recovery. The SUAS-ALE calculates its precise position relative to the smart end feature for navigation into towline intercept, followed by a maneuver to capture the end feature. Once secure on the towline, the SUAS-ALE folds its wings and stops its engine to transition into a passively stable towed body. A pod hoist aboard the capital ship reels in the SUAS-ALE to a captive carriage state where the two platforms return to base together. 